One of the great things about traveling to different cultures around the world isn't just experiencing uh, different places in the world, it's about comparing and contrasting with the place that you're from. And one of the great universals in this world is the relationship between man and dog. That's why I am surrounded by all these adorable little guys here. Because in every country in the world, in every culture, there is a really special bond between human and dog. And it's been that way for thousands and thousands of years since the very first early human settlements when we domesticated wolves and turned them into this. <laughs> Adorable puppies. And, all right, easy over there. Everybody stay cool, just cool out. Not every country treats uh, dogs the exact same way. Here in the US and in places like the UK, we tend to coddle dogs. We give them fancy haircuts and uh, custom clothes and bedazzled uh, collars. In Scotland, you might find dogs herding sheep. In Africa, you might actually find dogs out hunting. In Korea, you, well, we won't, we won't talk about that. Because you're too cute, look at you. Look at these guys. All right, cool down over there. Everybody just stay cool. No biting, no biting. Personally, I am a big dog guy. I grew up with dogs. I had a golden retriever named Toffee when I was a kid and then a Cocker Spaniel named Pebbles. Unfortunately, one of the downsides of uh, being a professional travel TV host is that I live out of a suitcase for most of the year and actually don't have a dog now because I'm not home enough. I did recently win a dog in an illegal game of street checkers in South Africa, but due to some strict import-export laws, I unfortunately had to forfeit my prize. But one day, when I'm done traveling, when I come back home, I will certainly get my own man's best friend. Anyway, this is Josh Gates. You can check out all new episodes and some pretty adorable dogs on Expedition Unknown on Travel Channel. You are the cutest. You are the cutest one. <laughs>